XDR is a holistic detection and response solution that goes beyond the endpoint to remove silos of visibilities. It leverages on advanced analytics like artificial intelligence and big data analytics, as well as Trend Micro's extensive smart protection network to provide more detections and faster response. This is the second of a two-part video series. For this guide, we will be testing Cloud App Security's integration with Trend Micro XDR by sending an email to one of the protected Exchange online users. If you haven't seen the first part of this guide yet, it may be a good idea to go check it out as it discusses how Cloud App Security connects with Trend Micro XDR. Unlike its predecessor, the Endpoint Detection and Response, XDR doesn't focus on endpoint detection alone. Instead, it enables security teams to detect, investigate, and respond to threats across multiple layers of security including that of email, server, cloud workloads, and network layers. A component of XDR capable of integrating with the messaging security layer is Cloud App Security or DMCAS. If you are continuing this from the first episode, we were able to register Cloud App Security to Trend Micro XDR. This is one of the many Trend Micro products that can utilize Cloud App Security's cloud messaging security solution. To be able to run this test, we need to have an email sent to one of the Exchange Online users protected by Cloud App Security. This is a sample email that was previously sent to our protected user. It has the following headers, and it has an attached XLS file. We will be using this attachment as a reference later. Go to the Trend Micro XDR console. On the left pane, click on the magnifying glass to use the search function. This is the search app. Here we can perform customized searches for finding events related to our threat investigation. For the data source, pull down menu, set the value to just email. This limits the scope of our search results since we're only testing Cloud App Security and Exchange Online. The search app allows us to create conditions for our search criteria. Each criterion is made up of a subject, an operator, and an operand which is our search keyword. For our subject, we can choose from several different predefined properties. Let's try to look for the email that has the XLS attachment. With the attachment as our reference, set the subject to file name. Leave the operator as is and type results.xls in the operand field. You can add more criteria by clicking on the plus sign to add more lines. Once you are satisfied with your search criteria, click on the search button and wait for the results to come up. The results are organized according to the data source we've selected. The right pane shows the raw logs where the conditions are met while the left pane gives us options for further filtering the results. For example, we can filter the results based on the sender, the URLs, the file name, and others. Let's filter the results to include only those that belong to this mailbox. Click on the Append button to add this filter. You'll also notice that our criteria has been updated when we appended a filter. You can add more filters if you wish to further narrow down the results. And that's it! We've just verified that the logs from Cloud App Security are included in the email telemetry used by Trend Micro XDR for threat investigation. If you want to learn more about how other Trend Micro products are utilized by Trend Micro XDR, there are other guides like this available for those as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has been informative for you.